Hello, hello. So, during my vacation in July 2023, which is a couple of months ago, I upgraded my uh, network at home to 10 gigabit. And I got this um, network switch. And it's a Unify or Ubiquity Unify Flex XG. Um, I'm not really a fan of Ubiquity stuff, really, but this was the only switch that the store had that had 10 gigabit. Um, so this switch can also handle 1 gigabit, 2.5 gigabit, 5 gigabit and 10 gigabit and it has five ports as you can see but one of them are a so-called uplink port so you connect this to like a router or another switch uh, so you can't really use this port as or for computers um, so you have four other ports on it <laughs> trying to find words here um, yeah so you got four ports for computers uh, right now I have two computers with um, 10 gigabit connect network cards or connections and then I got a laptop with a 2.5 gigabit dongle USB dongle so that's the computers that I have uh, so this, uh, the first one, the first port, the uplink port goes actually to my PFSense router. Um, and then, yeah, actually one of these ports also goes to my old router. It's an Asus, uh, Wi-Fi router. Um, and I only use that, um, as a Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi access point at the moment. So I don't use the router functionality. And the nice thing with this, or nice thing, I don't know. Um, you can get a so-called dream machine from Ubiquity. And uh, that dream machine is kind of a switch. But it also has a uh, controller software in it. So you can control your switches and Wi-Fi access points, Ubiquity devices, of course. And you can control those devices from this control software. But the thing is, uh, I don't have that dream machine and I'm not going to buy one either just to control this switch. Uh, but the thing is that you can install that controller software on the regular computer running a Linux server. So that's exactly what I did. I have an old laptop computer and I installed Ubuntu 22.04 server on it. And then on top of that, I installed the Unify control center on that Linux server. So I can actually control or manage this switch from the control center. So, uh, and uh, the first time I actually boot this up, the switch up, the, you know, you see this blue uh, LED at the, to the left. This was originally white um, before I actually installed the control center. So. When it was connected to control cent control center, it turned blue. So yeah, uh, the downside with this kind of switch is that if you power it off, uh, it will take forever to for it to boot up again. It will take about five minutes for it to boot up. It's really annoying, but it is what it is. It's what it. So what you do when you have the control center installed, you uh, use a web browser to connect to it. 
and the IP address of course and then port 8443 and you get this login screen and I just updated the Unify control center to 7.5 and I actually forgot I haven't used this <laughs> control center in a while so I actually forgot what the username I sort of installed but uh, yeah I kind of remembered later it's for me you can choose whatever you want uh, you don't have to use admin or anything so yeah fart face <laughs> uh, and of course the password so yeah sign in the first thing you get is this dashboard and it says self-hosted uh, so this is basically just for the uh, control itself um yeah so right now i only have the switch uh, the only thing that i have from ubiquity is the switch so yeah nothing else basically um so i haven't really used this uh, software that much uh, you have this topo topology and yeah I actually changed the icons uh, they had the, all the same icons previously but here you can see all the connected uh, devices that is connected after the switch and here you can see the switch itself the flex xg and one is connected to it and what's blinking here is actually the main computer I'm sitting at this computer that's why it's blinking and yeah then i have uh, the sort of dream machine controller uh, is this device is this uh, computer it's an old laptop an old dell laptop and then, then of course i got my old phone the s7 edge i only use it as a webcam um yeah then we have the uh, my phone my new phone and for some reason my tablet doesn't show up it should be maybe because it's kind of deactivated i don't know it should be kind of working let's see if i get some traffic to it well anyway it should be working if I press F5. Well, anyway, the tablet should show up here later. You can also see if you click this. Yeah, there we go. My tablet. <laughs> My Samsung uh, A A8 tablet. So yeah, you kind of fun to see. Um uh, the thing is, this uh, you see one, two, three, four, five, six devices, but uh, it only have like four ports. So how does that work? Well, there are only, only two computers connected to the switch at the moment. This main computer, and then we also have the Wi-Fi switch, my old Asus router. And um, the Dream Machine is actually connected to one of the LAN ports on the old router because I only use the uh, unif Unify switch for like 2.5 gigabit and up. And then I selected, you know, the regular one gigabit devices, connect them to the old router. So this, this um, controller actually is connected to the router. And the router is then connected to the switch and then we have the pf sense router back here to the left so yeah and this is all wi-fi devices the tablet and the two phones are wi-fi and they are connected to this uh, old router but they are all in in a sense connected to the switch because the switch have the internet so yeah and then you can also can see here 
show internet traffic. Uh, right now, the only traffic that's going in is going to my main PC. So yeah. Kind of nice feature. Uh, another reason that I wanted to try this was to see if there was any firmware updates for the Switch. So I went to this uh, Unified Devices and here you can see I only have that switch. Um, if you have like Wi-Fi access points from uh, Ubiquity, they will also show up here. And here in the status area, it says, uh, now right now it says up to date, but uh, previously earlier today, it said uh, update. Uh, do you want to update? They were an update for the switch. So yeah, there were a firmware update. So I just click this, there were kind of a sort of a link to it and the new update were installed on the switch. And it took about 10 minutes to get back online again. So, but yeah, that's the reason I'm actually running this control center so that I can actually get firmware updates for the switch. Uh, and also for some reason, I tried to install this control center on a virtual machine, um, but I didn't get it to work because it said something about some key were deprecated, whatever. So yeah, I think Unify have to update their installation documentation a little bit because right now it doesn't work. Uh, I will maybe put the link to the video that I used in the, uh, watch the video. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of fun to check around. <coughs> and here you can see kind of a list of all the connected devices. And yeah, so you can see, yeah, you, and here you also see the PFSense, uh, my router actually. So uh, yeah, that's how the, you can see I, all the IP addresses to the devices here. Also, you can see what port they are using, right? <laughs> it's kind of weird. Yeah, I selected the, the uh, image for the uh, computer was an HP computer, and that's why it says Hewlett Packard here. But it's not a Hewlett Packard. I actually built this computer myself, so it's uh, it's a non non brand computer. And you can see it's connected to port four. So yeah. And you can also see the uh, speeds to and from it. And you see my phone, the S22 Ultra and S7 Edge and the old router. And you see they are all connected to port 2, most of this. And, and uh, the Asus router is actually connected to the port 2. And that's why all the phones and stuff show up as a port number two but you can see they have different ip addresses so yeah it's kind of nice uh nothing special in here just a few kind of things just a dashboard uh, topology yeah and devices it's nice to see you can get updates so I only turn this uh, controller on when I need to check for updates for the switch. Otherwise it's kind of unnecessary to have the computer on just to check the topology. And the switch itself also get an IP address because if I check the PFSense, the DHCP server, it will actually give the switch an IP. So yeah, <laughs> and it doesn't, yeah, it show up here. <laughs> IP address to the switch. Uh, you can't log into the switch. Um, I thought I would actually uh, just log into the switch and control it from there, but no, uh, you can't do anything with the switch. You have to manage the switch from this control center. 
So yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, I might do a tutorial on how to install this on a uh, Linux server later on, uh, if I get it to work. Uh, but for now, just check the link in the video description to the video I used uh, to install this on a Linux server. So yeah, catch you later.